Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to machine learning and AI tutorials. We are continuing strong with discovering different AI models and with explaining how to install and run them locally. In this video tutorial, we are going to explain how to install and test DeepCoder 14 billion parameter model. DeepCoder 14 billion parameter model is a code reasoning large language model fine-tuned from DeepSeq R1 distilled Quen 14 billion parameter model using distributed reinforcement learning. And here's one of the main advantages of providing free and open source models. Namely, as in the case of this model, you can use an open source model and you can improve it. And what is very interesting about DeepCoder model is that its performance is very similar to OpenAI's O3 Mini. However, the advantage of DeepCoder is that it has under quotes only 14 billion parameters. This is still a relatively small number of parameters compared to OpenAI or compared, for example, to Llama 4 or to some other gigantic models. By the end of this video tutorial, you will learn how to generate this graphics user interface and how to run deep coder inside of this graphics user interface. Namely, over here you can write questions and then deep coder will generate your response. You can see how nicely the response is formatted and then you can simply copy and paste this response and you can store it or you can execute it in Python. Note over here that I'm running this model on my NVIDIA 3090 GPU, which has 24 gigabyte of VRAM. And here are the questions you can ask and all sorts of things. In this video tutorial, we are going to explain how to install DeepCoder on a Windows machine. And to do that, we are going to use the following approach. First of all, we are going to install Olama and we are going to use Olama as a backend for running DeepCoder. Then we are going to generate a graphics user interface by using OpenWebUI and you will see how nicely you will be able to run this amazing model inside of your web browser. However, the execution is performed locally. Another nice thing about DeepCoder is that it also comes in a small, small, small form. Namely, here you have a version that only has 1.5 billion parameters and this is heavily quantized model. I suggest to people to use this smaller model on a CPU machines, on older computers, or even on Raspberry Pi 4 or 5. Okay, let's start immediately. First of all, go to the Olama website and then click on download and click on Windows and then click on download for Windows to download the Olama installation file. Here you need to wait for maybe 10 minutes, sorry, for like 10 or 15 seconds until Olama is downloaded. After Olama is downloaded, you can simply install Olama with a single click. To install Olama, just double click on the installation file and Olama will be installed. It's pretty straightforward to install Olama and to use it. And that's why I like it. Later on, you will see how simple it is to download the model. So just click on install and Olama will be installed. Another nice thing about Olama is that you don't need to use CUDA or you don't need to install any additional driver. Everything is inside. And if you have an NVIDIA GPU, that GPU will be automatically recognized and all the drivers will be installed. Namely, note over here that CUDA.dll file as well as QBLAST.dll files. These are the dynamic link libraries of CUDA and so everything is kind of already being pre-compiled. And this is really nice about Olam. After Olama is installed, you will see this small window over here. Olama is running. However, let's double check that Olama is properly installed. You can simply close this, then click here, and you should see this small cute icon of Olama. Another test is to open a command prompt. And in the command prompt, simply type Olama. And if you see this type of response, this means that Olama is installed. The next step is to download the model. To download the model, go back to the Olama website, that is to the base website, and over here, you need to search for a model. 
zoom out and find this menu and search for deep coder and click here and then go to the main repository of deep coder over here make sure that you select 14b parameter model and over here this command will be generated copy this command go back to the terminal paste the command however replace run by pool since we just want to download the model and press enter and wait note over here that you're downloading around nine gigabytes so it might take a while to download everything in my case it's going to be around like maybe one or two minutes so let's be patient after the model is downloaded you will see something like this and then simply type olama list to make sure that the model exists on your local disk and let's first test this model from a terminal we can simply type olama run and then the name of the model so let's copy this paste this enter and let's see what will happen okay now i can open uh, my task manager and i can look into the cpu consumptions uh, i can click here on performance and i can see how much gpu and cpu resources are being used you can see that the model is now loaded over here since you can see my uh, ram memory and let's ask a question for example here so uh, write a c++ code that will simulate a dynamical system in a state space form. So this is a physics and control engineering question. And then let's see, will this uh, coder know how to solve this, right? Okay, so we can see over here the uh, assumptions, we, uh, consumption, we can see my GPU almost 100%, which is really nice. And you can see the memory and you can see CPU, mostly it uses the GPU. Okay, so let's see what's happening over here. Yes, the code is being written and it looks really good. Okay, I'm going to press Control C to close this and then I'm going to press Control D to exit. The next step is to generate a nice graphics user, user interface such that we can run this model in a user-friendly manner. So for that purpose, I'm going to go back to my C drive and in, on my C drive, I'm going to create a workspace folder. Over here, I created a series of commands that I need to type. First, make sure that you're in the home folder and then create a folder called, for example, test web UI, which will be a workspace folder. Let's navigate to this folder and inside of this folder, let's create our Python virtual environment. In my case, as you can see over here, I'm using Python 3.12. However, everything explained in this video tutorial applies to any other version of Python. Next, let's create the Python virtual environment by typing this command. Let's be patient over here. And then over here, let's activate this Python virtual environment so we can install OpenWebUI. To install OpenWebUI, you just need to run a single command and you need to be patient since it's going to take maybe even like five minutes, depending on how fast is your internet connection to install OpenWebUI. Okay, so let's be patient. To start the OpenWebUI, you just need to type this and let's press enter and let's see what will happen several modules might be installed and then after some time you will see a message and after that message you will be able to run it on your local host so let's wait for a while and let's see the message okay good now we can simply copy this address open a web browser and in the web browser we can simply enter this address and voila, here we are. Click on get started. Let me zoom out and enter your name and enter your email address over here and set the password. Over here, you're setting an administrator account. You're not registering online. You're registering on your local computer. And after you press <clears throat> this button, you will see this message and OK, let's go. And over here, you will see a nice thing, namely, OpenWebUI automatically recognized DeepCoder. That is, it automatically recognized any model installed together with Olama. 
So let's just for a second and for a verification click over here to make sure that we are running deep coder and let's ask a question. Okay, so let's ask a question, write a Python code to sort an array and let's press enter and let's see what will happen. This is now executed in real time and let's see the response. And over here you can see my GPU consumption, you can see the GPU memory and over here you can see the GPU VRAM. And here it is. It literally took 16 seconds to generate the response. You can see over here the first response using the sort method and you can see other approaches over here. And that's it. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Also on my YouTube channel, you have more than 1,000 free video tutorials covering different topics such as machine learning, robotics, AI, mathematics, control engineering, signal processing, etc. That's it and see you in the next video tutorial.